What is up guys, it's your boy Swallam here, back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now today I want to share with you guys one of the most insane gold farms in Phase 3 of Season of Discovery. Now I just want to point this out, like I did not find this farm, I don't know who found it, but I found out through No Hit Drone on Twitch, and we'll be watching some of his clips today in this video. And once again, shout out to Jerome, and then he can further that shout out to whoever he wants. I don't know who found this farm, but it's an absolutely ridiculous ridiculously good farm and it's a good find. Now to do this farm you have to be in a group. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat so you can't just go out and solo farm this. That being said the item you're farming for is selling for thousands of gold so you can get filthy rich from this farm but it's heavily based on RNG. Now to further kind of illustrate and point out how ridiculously good this farm is and how ridiculous the farm in itself actually is as well. The top guilds might have known about this farm and they have been doing their best to hide it from the public. Now I'm sharing this because I don't know anyone on my server farming this and I'm playing on a pretty popular server on EU. So um, many servers out there and this farm could be open to a lot of people and on some servers out there it could be camped by the top end guilds. Now with that being said, let's take a look at the farm, what you're farming for, why you're farming it, what it's used for and everything about the farm itself. So for the farm itself, I'm going to be playing this clip from Jerome's stream, where they are farming for the Crimson Courier. I butchered that so badly, Crimson Courier. Now this is a high level elite, and he's guarded by high level guards. So as you can see here, it's in the Eastern Playlands at the bridge to Stratholm, and you can farm this NPC or this mob as much as you want, right? So you can farm him quite often, he spawns every 3 minutes I think, and he has a really good loot table. Now as you can see in Jerome's group there are 7 people, you can be more, you can be less, it really depends on your group, the gear you have, and the setup you have as well. Now, by the essence of you farming NPCs and farming mobs in a group, you want to be as little people as possible while still being able to do the farm, that way you have a bigger chance of winning the item that is in question. Now, for the item itself, we have the Righteous Orb. That's right, we're doing the Righteous Orb farm. So for the Crimson Carrier, first of all, he is a level 60 elite in Eastern Plaguelands. He has a lot of health. He has 14,600 health to be exact, and he spawns at the Stratholm Bridge. Now, when he spawns there, he will walk alongside the road all the way down to Hearth Glen and then walk back up. So you can find him pretty much all over Eastern Plaguelands, but once you've killed him once, he will respawn at the Stratholm Stratholm Bridge, and then you can just camp him at the Stratholm Bridge, and here's the thing, if you want to camp the NPC and get him to respawn quickly, you have to kill all the guards, that way they will all respawn in one wave and they respawn every 2-3 to three minutes, that way you can hyper spawn them basically kind of, or at least force spawn them so you get 30 kills, between 10 to 20 and 30 kills every single hour, and you're once again mainly farming for the Righteous Orb, that being said you also have prestige black diamond on a low drop chance, rune cloth, you have um, major healing potions, major mana potions as well, this one is massive by the way, level 49 requirement and major mana potions, you have a bunch of greens but once again for the most part what you're looking for is a righteous orb. And why are you looking for the righteous orb you may ask? Well this is used in the crusader enchant which a lot of people have been speculating we could not do in phase 3 thanks to righteous orb. The thing is right Righteous orbs, when you look at where they're dropping, they're dropping like on Wowhead without going to this NPC specifically yourself. Like when I go to the NPC, it's on his loot table. But when looking at Righteous orbs on the Classic Wowhead page, it's only dropping in Stratholm. And we knew that Stratholm would be locked, so we couldn't get our way in there. Either way, even if it drops in Stratholm, we can't farm it there, but we can farm it from this one NPC. Now that makes all of these crafts you see here suddenly viable, especially Enchant Weapon, you have Crusader. This is going to be the big one, requiring 4 large brilliant shards and 2 righteous orbs. On top of that, you have to have max enchanting to learn this as well, and you have to find the formula. Now, with this righteous orb, like first of all, finding the formula is difficult, but it's not the actual difficult part. 
the actual difficult part will be getting the orbs. And here's the thing, if you have been doing Sunken Temple in phase 3, you pretty much know this is a melee raid, and a melee tier, and a melee phase. Hunters are topping DPS, warriors are topping DPS, enhancement shaman, rogue, rest paladins, you name it. All physical DPS, all melee DPS, are absolutely topping DPS right now. Now let's take a look at Crusader, this enchant, permanently enchant a melee weapon so that often when attacking in melee it heals for 75 to 125 and increases strength by 100 for 15 seconds. Imagine being a warrior or a red paladin with this, especially warrior, like if you're looking at logs right now, warriors are already popping off, like they are skyrocketing, they're going to the moon and they are not coming back, they are just going to the moon and camping. So warriors are absolutely topping DPS right now. Think about Crusader Enchant, that one is so bis, it is ridiculous for warriors, especially warriors with pretty much for everyone, but especially warriors. So with this find, the Crusader Enchant is suddenly back on the table in phase 3. Now it is a really sweaty farm. First of all, going back to the NPC, it's a level 60 elite and has a 2% chance to drop the Righteous Orb. Once again, has a 2-3 minute respawn timer as well. So that means you're getting 25-30 to 30 kills per hour. That usually means like based on rough averages here without going crazy deep in the math, you would have to farm for about 4 hours to get one drop on average, and then let's say you're five people in the group as well, also farming, you would have to spend even more time. You first of all, my cat just worked on the keyboard by the way, but yeah, you have to spend four hours on average to get the drop. Please don't stop! So yeah, on average you would have to spend 4 hours to actually get one drop, and then if you're 5 people in the group, that means once again on average, if you're farming together for 20 hours, everyone in the group would be getting one orb after 20 hours of farming. That being said, right now the orb is crazy expensive, and I just want to show you how expensive they are. Going over to JP Worgen on most servers, there's no data on this item, but going to Crusader Strike US on the Horde side, you can see two items being sold on the auction house. Number one sold for 3000 gold, and number two sold in roughly the same time for 4000 gold, showing that the top guilds are willing to, willing to pay top dollar or top gold for this item, because once again, it's pretty much required for speedrun, for parsing, and everything that top raiders actually do care about, and you already know that the top guilds, they have pretty much unlimited gold to back up whatever they need to do, when it comes to buying consumables, when it comes to buying the gear they need, the best enchants they need, they have access to so much gold, and they are willing to spend it. So once again, Righteous Orbs being so difficult to farm, this is, could be an absolute gold mine on most servers out there. Now I just want to show that there is no data on this on my server, I'm playing on Living Flame, and so far I haven't seen any of the top guilds being out there and farming when I'm doing my scans. So Living Flame being the most popular server in the world and the most popular one on the EU side, literally no data, which means if you have access to a 5-man group or a 10-man group, you could make ridiculous amounts of gold on this. Now I also want to show that somebody did sell one of these on Lava Lash on the EU side for 500 gold on the Alliance side. Now I think that's a bit of a mistake, but hey, you made 500 gold and I guess you're happy either way. So there we go, at this point I have shown you what we're farming for, the mob we're killing, what we're looting or what we're looking for, what that is used in, and why you might want to farm here. Once again, if you're doing a farm, you want to have at least 5 people, you want to be a capable 5 man with pretty, with pretty good gear as well, and if you're doing 5 man, you want to have 1 tank, 1 healer, and 3 DPS. Now, I think most people probably want to be 10 people here, but even then, you would have to farm for so long to get your righteous orb, you might want to 
to try to find something to do in during the downtime, like for example start fishing while waiting for the spawn. Alternatively, bring some materials in your bags and spend the downtime actually crafting something, like I am currently making 75 gold per hour simply by crafting items, which means that while I'm waiting at this place, I could make 75 gold per hour by doing crafting as long as I bring the materials in my bags. Now, that being said, you can't just have unlimited bag space, so the, the amount of which you can craft is basically limited here, but you only need one bag space anyway for the righteous orb, so you can basically bring everything and just have one open bag space. Either way, this is an absolutely ridic ridiculous farm. I did not expect to see something like this in phase 3, killing level 60 elites, but here we are, doing it, and apparently the top guilds are as well, and it's an item worth ridiculous amounts of gold. So, there we go, just wanted to make that public and share it as well. There's already other videos on YouTube about this, so I'm definitely not the first one, but it's definitely a farm worth knowing about. And once again, even I'm playing on one of the most popular servers in the world, if not the most popular server, and I don't see people doing this farm. So, go and test it out. Let me know if you actually get one as well in the comments down below, and how much you sold it for. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, but if a different one today, but it really helps to spice things up, and show different ways to farm gold than just being solo, and farming mobs for essence of fire, essence of uh, earth, or anything like that. It's a different type of farm that I think is kind of refreshing. So, once again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and as always, I will see you again in the next video, very soon.